Hey there, just being asked to demonstrate a bit of my so-called uh, new generation art project that is has a pretty long history but now is being developed for my uh, NIPC 64 framework that is incorporates um, the 3D engine so-called uh, Brahma uh, basically LNG is gaming technology that is built on top of the Brahma uh, engine and the Brahma engine is built on top of the Nipsy 64 framework and any game is supposed to be uh, created on top of the LNG so it is supposed to alter its default behavior to obtain desired functionality so that's here's the menu system that can be navigated through using either mouse or keyboard. Uh, let's start a level, which is just a room with the reflective uh, walls and nothing special happening about it. So let's press um, go on through other menus, there's an integrated level editor into the same uh, menu and can be uh, on. but we'll t look at it later now, later on so here's the options menus sub menus that are pretty generic uh, game settings which is working uh, some extent most of, most of the settings actually just uh, mm, the peculiar dynamic of keys that's it's, it's, uh, you can set uh, all the keys and all the input devices using the same menu including the joystick uh, and even the MIDI controllers if you want your game to be controlled using a joystick or a MIDI controller that is you can assign MIDI notes the same way you do for a keyboard or mouse or joystick those are quite convenient to use as well and any number of keys can be assigned the same action because that's the keys being mm, bound to actions and not all the other way around so just Another action already going to the same key. So that's the way it's working. So they, let's take a look at the only options that is there is uh, volume settings and decibels. It's pretty intuitive and we need to use mouse or keyboard as well music is not working the binaural stereo is not implemented the moment. never does or stereo and other stuff and the video options I do wish this we need to be more organized I'm not quite happy with how it's working so far because the resolutions are quite messy uh, but uh, you can change uh, the resolution if you need to the screen mode as well. It's um, quite interesting uh, feature. And it's it the same way because it just automatically responds to the window size of the game to be. Um, 
played in Windows mode, mode and uh, full screen mode. It's pretty much the same way. My bias is adjusted. The look of textures, the detail level, and exposure and compensation if you need need to. There's a set in the color uh, settings is, uh, use the, the color engine built into the framework it is primarily intended to be used for true color modes but it can uh, adjust the palette the index to palette color as well to be displayed correctly on display monitors having different color gamut the common color gamuts listed here also you can specify custom a custom customized color primaries any primaries uh, you can uh, have on your display this basically is a hue and saturation adjustment it's taken for to for the colors to <coughs> correctly on any display and the uh, gamma gamma cars can be set up as well there's a, a standard srgb gamma the l star gamma the hybrid log gamma and the the perceptual quantizer is planned to be used for hdr displays and uh, the custom gamma setting can be used as well Contrast radio can be compensated as for so far. The engine is planned to be able to compensate the black level as well as uh, improve the shadows. And the color temperature is just uh, compensates for any tint that is caused by your display color temperature. So, uh, for instance, if your display has a low color temperature and orange tint, yellow, orange tint, then the engine is compensating it with the blue tint and the vice versa, the other way around. Uh, the standard color temperature is in the 6500 Kelvin. Also the green purple tint can be specified as well if you need to. That's it. Hope you like it. And the level editor is quite rudimentary, so at the moment, basically, all the everything you can do is uh, draw a simple sector and change its texture, which is affected for all surfaces because they share the same pattern. And if you want to make something unique, just press a key and make it unique and make the any surface unique this way. And if you want the internal byte code to be unique as well, you use another key. So uh, you can draw another adjacent sector if you want to and you don't even have to insert any vertices and split any walls because the engine supports the partial um, wall connection it's just the nature of the this uh, portal handle Handling, so it's quite convenient. And, uh, this editor is quite limited at the moment, being that it's gonna become to the best uh, level editor ever created eventually. So that's it. Bye bye.